Hey there, Royal folks, it's your boy Ben here, coming at you with some piping hot Royal tea, so buckle up, this one is an absolute doozy, guys. So we all know the Royal drama's been simmering for years now, but it looks like King Charles is finally ready to bring it to full boil. That's right, folks, the King is done playing nice. He's about to unleash hell on his own son, Prince Harry, and let me tell you, it's not pretty. Now, I've been covering the Royals for years, and I've never seen anything quite like this. We're talking nuclear-level family drama. But can you really blame Charles? I mean, how much is one dad supposed to take? Let's recap, shall we? Harry and Meg bail on royal life, move to California, and proceed to air all the family's dirty laundry. We're talking tell interviews and Netflix docuseries and Harry's bomb-dropping memoir spare. It's been one hit after another, and the palace has mostly kept quiet until now. Right on the street is that King Charles has had enough. He's done with the olive branch, he's done with the peace offerings. Harry's been begging for reconciliation lately, but it looks like that ship has now certainly sailed, guys, and sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Charles is pulling out all of the big guns, and he's doing it in true royal fashion with a family portrait. Now, I know what you're thinking. How's a picture going to send this message? Well, trust me, guys, in royal speak, it's basically a declaration of war. Cast your mind back to December 2019. Buck Palace releases this photo of Queen Elizabeth, then Prince Charles, Prince William, and little Prince George. Four generations of monarchs. Past, present, and future. And who's conspicuously absent? You guessed it, Harry and his son Archie. Now, according to my sources, by sources I mean royal expert Robert Lacey's book, Battle of Bros, this wasn't just some casual family snap. Oh no, it was a carefully orchestrated power move by Charles. It was his way of showing that the world, his vision for a slimmed down monarchy, and guess who didn't make the cut? <laughs> Lacey writes, and I quote, what a fascinating historic image to remind us of the essence of the royal system. The current monarch with three future monarchs all living as and not a suggestion of a spare. Talk about a burn. But wait, it gets better. Apparently this whole photo idea was Charles's brainchild and William was all for it. Talk about a family united, not just in the way Harry might have helped. Now, I'm not sure Charles doesn't love his son. I'm sure deep down he does, but love and monarchy don't always mix well. Charles has a job to do, a monarchy to protect, and if that means cutting ties with his own flesh and blood, well, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. And let's be real for a sec, guys. Can we really blame Charles for being furious? I mean, put yourself in his shoes. Your son leaves the family business, moves halfway across the world, and then proceeds to trash talk the family at every platform. That's got to hurt, but here is where it gets juicy, guys. Rumour has it that Harry and Meg were devastated by this photo. They apparently took it to heart, as the saying goes, and why wouldn't they? It's basically Charles saying, hey world, this is the future of the monarchy, and your boy Harry ain't it. Now, I'm not taking sides here. I'm just a friendly neighbourhood critic giving you the tea, as I see it. But I gotta say, this move by Charles, it's cold, ice cold, Antarctic level frigid. But it's also kind of brilliant. I mean, in terms of PR, it's a master trait. One photo, no words needed, message loud and clear delivered. But here's the million dollar question, what happens next? Is it the end of Harry's hopes for reconciliation? Is he out of the royal fold for good? Or is this just Charles' way of saying shape up or ship out? And let's not forget about Meghan. Some are calling her the puppet master, the one pulling the strings. Is she the architect of the family feud or just a scapegoat? One thing's for sure, this draw family royal drama is far from over. We've got a king who's all ready to unleash hell, a prince who's been cast out and a whole lot of popcorn of drama. So what do you think, YouTube fam? Is Charles justified in his fury? Is Harry the victim? Or is the whole thing just a messy squabble that's gone out of hand? Drop your thoughts in the comments, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more piping hot royalty. Remember, folks, in the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. And right now, it looks like Harry might be on the losing end. But hey, the game ain't over till it's over, right? This is Ben, your friendly neighborhood royal critic, signing off. Stay tuned and stay dramatic. And remember, keep calm and carry on gossiping, guys. We'll be ready for you next time.